Okay, is anybody out there? Who is out there in the YouTube land? Uh, let me just mute this before I get started. As always, I don't know why it doesn't let me mute it ahead of time. Okay, guys, welcome to the live stream as we're going to talk toys. So we're going to talk... Let me know if you can hear me and everything. I guess I should have not muted it. Okay, audio's coming through good. Thank you guys for joining me. The ones that are here, how many are we up to? Woo, six people. Six. Okay, what are we going to do today? I'm going to look at some websites and some of the pictures from Toy Fair and kind of comment on them. Read your comments on them. Tell me what you think. But let's get started with the hot topic of the day. Uh, hold on. Let me throw this window down real quick uh, right here. Okay, now I can see your chat and everything else. Before we get started, let's talk about the hot item of the day. A vinner, a vinner. Vintage. Re, repro, ah, I can't talk today. Vintage retro Star Wars figures announced. And what are we looking at? Six of them. Uh, you've probably seen my video on it. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching my video on it. I don't believe it. I've got over 1,400 views on that video today. And that's a lot for me. I only, you know, my videos, videos usually cap out around three to 600. So, man, one day to get 1,400, I'm excited. I feel like a one of those big internet stars but anyway uh thank you all for joining me and we'd love to hear what you guys think about the re retro figures that are coming out i personally love them i see a lot of people bash them especially the vintage collectors uh i don't really see why we can't have both i mean i don't think they're going to do the whole vintage line if that if that was they announced that i might be a little a little feel a little differently but you know to do some figures here and there and these figures are different from what i've been able to find out they are 3.75 inches they're the same height as the regular vintage star wars figures but they are wider than the actual star wars figures the vintage figures so you can tell them apart if you put them side by side so um and i have heard a lot of people tell me oh welcome I got live junk. You got live junk. That's right. But I had a lot of people tell me, hey, this is going to kill the market. This is going to kill the vintage market. No one, collectors out there, is not going to buy 12 back original Star Wars figures if they can go down to Target and buy the same figure on the shelf or one that's that close to it. Uh, I'm going to call BS on that also because if you're a vintage Star Wars collector and you're looking to collect carded 12 back stuff, you're looking at spending over a thousand dollars on a good card, on a graded card, on a twelve back. If you're the type of vintage collector that's got a thousand dollars to throw down on an action figure, you're not going to be happy with one at Target for ten bucks. That's not what you're going to want. You want that's what I mean. People that collect the vintage, they don't collect the vintage because it looks like vintage. People that, or the people I know at least, or majority of them. They collect the vintage because they want the vintage. They want the stuff they grew up with. They want the old stuff. They don't want knockoffs of it. Um, so you're not going to have some collector out there saying, hey, why pay uh, an eBay price of a 12-back Luke Skywalker when I can get one at Target that looks close to it? I don't see that happening. Now, you might have some newer collectors come into the market and think, well, I'm not going to buy that new one because, hey, I can get that one at Target. But, okay, I think that's a very small number. Uh, let me see some chats. I had an old Kenner, I had an old Kenner Vader toothpick. I painted red for his life. You know, I've, I've got, watch on my YouTube channel. I, me and my brother did a video of Star Wars. Uh, we used Star Wars figures to recreate the Ben and Vader scene. We made it around 1985. Uh, check it out because I think it's either Ben or Vader's missing his saber and we have a toothpick in his hand uh, Instead of that so but again, I don't see any I don't see how it's gonna kill the vintage market Most most people that's got the money to collect vintage at least carded. They're either Already started a collection or they got enough money to waste where they're not gonna worry about something at Kenner I mean at Target again. These are Target exclusives now. Here's the bad thing I just found out because uh, I know Hasbro did a Q&A, but I was out seeing the Superman Superman the spider-man cartoon movie Have y'all seen that I really enjoyed that I took my son to see Spider-man and whew, went to Sonic's after and got the worst milkshakes we could imagine so It was nothing but ice in a styrofoam cup had to throw it away wasted, wasted about eight bucks on that, but what was I saying? Oh 
the sticker on the front of the card or what we all hope what a sticker and it said retro collection or whatever it said it came right off the top of my head that's not a sticker you cannot peel that off that's going to be on the card and that's my biggest problem i can see so far with this line is it needs to be and if they're gonna i can understand them putting it on it well i, I can't understand their reasoning but it doesn't make sense they say it so people know between the vintage and the real stuff but i mean between the retro and the vintage so it doesn't you know snowman gets ripped off but if you look at the card if you take a i did a on my twitter account i did a side by side and listed all the difference there's a lot of differences there but the main difference just flip it over if you see someone selling on ebay and you're not sure if it's vintage or retro tell them to flip it over the back looks nothing like a 12 back card so I don't understand why they need that big blast retro sticker around the front when I sticker printed on the package. At least, if you're going to put that on the package, size it down. Make it a lot smaller. Or put it up in the top corner, on the corner somewhere. Just It's, it's a bad location. It's covering up, covering up the art. But anyway, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, we've got a Tarkin coming. If you don't know, Tarkin's going to be also, all this whole line is going to be a Target is. Did I say a Target's coming? Tarkin figure is finally coming, but it's going to be in the Death Star Escape. Now, I really don't want to buy this Death Star Escape game, but I guess I'm going to have to to get Tarkin. I have the original Kenner Death Star Escape game, and I'll be honest with you, it's not even fun to play. I have no desire to buy this board game. I don't know why they picked this game to come back out with. I guess because it's probably the most popular board game that a lot of people grew up in. So, uh, why does my nose always itch when I come on here? But... I really don't want to buy this game again. I'm hoping it's going to be about 20 bucks, but you know how Hasbro is right there. Let's see some chats here. I hope they re-release General Medine. Man, I hope General Medine, yeah, they need to re-release General Medine for sure. Um, now, you know, Tarkin wasn't released in the original line. That's something I would have loved. I would like this line better if it was all new figures that we didn't get. Maybe some from the new movies. Or I mean, imagine like a Darth Maul. In a retro style on card, that would be great. Uh, or Tarkin and maybe a Wedge, Big. Some other figures we didn't get would have been neat. But I'm happy with what we got. And hopefully if these sell well, then we'll get more like that also. Um, a little bummed that it's just for Target. Especially the Target in my area closed. Although I've got one about 15, 20 miles away. But hopefully I'll find them somewhere. Okay, let's go to Instagram. Everyone's favorite. And look at some, let me move this over here, that way I can still see the chat. Okay, I'm going to look at some of these. Maybe you guys can chime in, because some of this stuff, I don't know what it is. Uh, but you might, so I'm going to click on this one right here. Let's take a look at this one. What is this? This is Avengers Spider-Man. Look at that spider. Is that from the new movie, I guess? So, it gets the Spider-Man right there in his yellow jacket. That's pretty good. Uh, upcoming Spider-Man 2 pack. Now, I don't know, Avengers that low key i'll be honest with you i hate this low key character really hate him you know me i don't watch i don't know much about the avengers didn't really get into it but one thing i never really liked is that loki guy and i'm sure i'll just turn it off a lot of people but here's another little guy right here can you see my mouse when i do that can you even see that I'm trying to run the mouse around it but i don't know if the mouse is showing up but let's go back here if you know some good sites i can check out let me know i pulled up a sun like i'm waiting up here but Okay, here we go. There's some good stuff. There's the pen. I like that they have the original Pennywise. Who's making this? Does it say? I can't really see a name on this. Is that NECA? But um, the game will be 20 Okay, thanks, North. I'm glad they escaped. That $20 is about what I would pay for that game to get the Tarkin. But thank you, I would like to because I would love to open the Tarkin. But I'm, I just have to wait to find a Tarkin on eBay loose, I guess. Uh, back to this. <coughs> I love they're doing the original Pennywise. I don't like, I like the new movie It, but I didn't really care for this uh, new clown design. I really didn't like his design too much. I like the standard, you know, everyday clown over here better uh, from the TV show It. TV show, TV miniseries. Uh, I don't think, if y'all care about these Barbies, I'll come back to them, but uh, there's some, re oh, breaking, look, look at this, Jim Henson Pops, I hadn't seen this one yet, comes with a little Kermit or Ernie, that's that's great right there, that's Target only also, I like that one, I like that one, because I don't really buy Pops, if I see one I like, I might pick it up, like I've got like a chef full of them, but for the most part, I really don't care that much about uh, Pops, but maybe, Maybe one day they'll do an Indiana Jones line. I know they did an Indiana Jones for the theme park, 
But man, I would love an Indiana Jones. I might would get an Indiana Jones pop line. Uh, world's greatest channel in the world channel. <laughs> That's a good world's greatest channel in the world channel. I like that name. Hey, Junk Man, my first live stream. Sorry, wait. As long as you're here, that's all that matters. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I don't do many of them. Uh, I thought Tarkin is carded too. Yes, Tarkin is carded, but he's in the Death Star Escape game. He's on the card in the box. So you have to buy the game to get the Tarkin. Uh, I saw Mary with Children Pops. I saw that. I actually, there was a lot of Pops coming out. I saw Jaws. Uh, Cheek and Chong Pops are coming out. I saw that middle so picture of them. Uh, but the best off, I saw Sanford and Son Pops. Can you believe that? Sanford and Son Pops. Uh, okay, let's go back here and see this. Look at this right here. This. Look at that. It's just. Uh, oh. Some kind of warrior, Darth Vader. A clone trooper, I guess. Not clone trooper. Um, First Order trooper right there. That's pretty cool. Now, I've seen these before at like, uh, Barnes & Noble. Never really got into them. You know, because they're not Star Wars. But I think they look cool. It just it does not really my set of something I really would love to have. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe um, toy shits. That's good. Good channel. Uh, and I'm really sure what this is. It's Funko Wave. I don't know what. So we'll leave that one. Uh, like I said, I'm ignorant on some of this stuff. So you have to help me out. Okay, we got this. Here we go, Toy Biz. This is the new one from 2019, I guess. Retro is the thing. That's why I heard people say, why would Hasbro go back and do this retro stuff? Because Funko's doing it. Mattel's doing it. Super 7's doing it. Every toy company's doing it. Look at General Giant. They made that big, they had the vintage big figures. Everybody's doing retro now. That's, that's hot. So if you're a toy company, why would you not want to take, why would you not want to jump on the latest trend? Oh, watching. Oh, you watch a Sanford, that's son. And you know, you know, I don't know. I'll teach y'all guys. I know I did a video a while back uh, where I took a Three's Company script and I had Star Wars action figures acted out. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But I actually did one last night from a scene from Sanford and Son. But I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to upload it yet because, really, honestly, I didn't like it as much as I did the Three's Company one. And today's age, I don't know. Some people might take it the wrong way, too. So. Okay, let's get through here so I'm not talking all day here. What is this one? Magneto? That's a cool looking figure right there. I haven't seen that one yet. That's Marvel Legends lines, I guess, for two. Marvel Legends, got some good. I got a friend that collects Marvel Legends, but ugh, that just it costs way too much. But as y'all know, I'm not really that into Marvel. Uh, here we go. The, uh, the was six inch Black Series Episode 1 Retro. Yep. So that's retro now. Um, these will be exclusive to Star Wars Celebration, but I believe an Obi-Wan that might be a little different is coming out also because they said that there would be a big push to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Um, go back to that. The retro Star Wars figures were my favorite news of the day. Oh, it's my favorite news of the day too. I mean, I love, I got right down here, I got a bunch of the retro now, the only thing I wish they came out with when they did the retro figures, retro pricing wouldn't have been get great if they were $2.99. Upload it, you big dummy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload it. I just I uploaded it and let the Patreon people watch it. and uh, It's going to be up. It's just uh, got hit with all this news today. Uh, but I'm glad. So, I've seen a lot of bad people you know, say bad things about the retro. I'm glad people like it. But anyway, the, let's get back to the Star Wars celebration here. Still don't know if I'm going to make it to celebration, but uh, Darth Maul and Obi-Wan. I don't know. I feel old looking at these. 20 years old. The Phantom Menace is 20 years old. Can you believe that? But, mm, I'm like, mm. If I saw him at the store, I might pick one. Look at there. There's me. Right There's one of my fish. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know why he's... Uh, if I... Here's a Darth Vader. Let's check out this Darth Vader here. Oh, this is the Hyper Reel new series. Let's click on this and see if it... Uh, this is Hasbro's answer to Hot top Hot Topics. To uh, Hot Toys, I guess. $80 a figure. Not a bad price. I mean, I'll see how it looks in person. I wish they had a Boba Fett, but I'm sure Boba Fett will come out soon. But look at that. That, that looks good. 
I'm not sure about his pose. Look, he's about to go sit on the toilet, but maybe he can change his poses around. I know he comes with a bunch of hands and everything. Uh, of course, the mall will be exclusive. Yeah. But, I mean, Maul's the most popular character. If they, if they, you know, all this stuff is, comes out for cons and then ends up online or ends up somewhere else. And they, I remember uh, Comic-Con did the re, uh, reaction Jaws. I was like, I'll never get it. Walked in Toys Us and there it was. Uh, so, when they say exclusive, if it doesn't sell out, it's not always exclusive. And speaking of Jaws, check this out here. I don't know why they had these sunglasses on, though. What's the deal with this? What's the deal with these glasses? Uh, but we got the Jaws Pops right here. You got the three main characters. Uh, I think he actually, uh, Roy Schreider has a cigarette, which is, you know, this day and age, I'm surprised. Mm. Yeah, cheaper than Hot Toys. $80. Yeah, I mean, I keep wanting to pull the pull the trigger on getting a Hot Toy. But, man, it's hard to pay two, $300 for, for a toy that's going to sit over and collect dust. Um, Luke Bestman would be out in conventions. Uh, Luke Bestman, is that uh, part of the... I haven't known if I came across that one. I probably have. Who is Super 7 right here? What is this from? Super 7, Annual... I don't know who... Does anybody know who this guy is? I don't know who this guy is right here. Uh, you can, Mega Death. Sorry, Mega Death guy right there. Okay. Jaws. I saw Jaws 3D at the theater. My first 3D movie I ever saw. And I loved it. Here's another Star Wars. I'm not going to look at just Star Wars, but there we go. The Last Jedi. I um, had somebody today on Twitter say, Hey, why aren't they releasing any new stuff from the new men? They uh, they really hate... Hasbro hates the new movies. They're not going to release anything from the new movies. Well, there you go right there. Uh, the Guard. You can buy a bunch of them and have them fight Kylo Ren and Rey and everything. Uh, Game of Thrones. Is that what that is? I don't really know this either. I don't watch it, so it's hard for me to talk. But this is a nice-looking... Uh, Iron Giant, look at that, and that's the Back of the Future car down there, that's pretty neat. like that one. Uh, and here's the Target, not the Target exclusive, is it? I think it is a Target exclusive. Uh, someone in the chat probably can help me out with that. This is not retro. I had an argument with a guy that loved to argue about everything on Twitter with me. This is not retro, this is vintage card collection. So there, you got the vintage collection, and then you got the retro collection, but this... So you can see right there is vintage collection. Why does my nose always itch when I'm on this thing? Um, and here's another one right here from Revenge of the Sith. Uh, another clone trooper. Let's see what we got right here. We got a Rogue One trooper coming out. That's pretty. It's like a standard trooper. That looks pretty good. Uh, of course, the Skiff. One of my favorite figures from the Vinge line. That's probably my favorite Lando. I really love these vintage card stuff, but for what they're usually about twelve, thirteen dollars. It's really hard for me to pick them up. <coughs> hmm. Let's see here, yeah, those Game of Thrones pops. Yeah, should I click on them more? <laughs> Let's see here. What is this from here? I don't. The ghost. I don't know what this is. Ghost. So I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. But I'm not really sure what that is either. Um, is this King Kong? King Kong from Skull Island. Look at that. That's a cool, that's a nice looking King Kong. That's pretty cool. Who's, who's, who's making that? Okay. Um. Iron Maiden. Is that Super 7? I believe that's Super 7. Uh, he's asking me about them. I, we'll probably come across some. I got the Super 7 page pulled up in a second. We're going to look at most of the Super 7 stuff, so, uh, I love these little arcade games, I got them at Walmart, and I really do love them, but, oof, tell you what, uh, I would die for Miss Pac-Man, that's for sure, the next wave of vintage figures seems much better than the wave that came before, yeah, I agree with you on that, I don't really know much about modern Star Wars too much, but let's look through here and see if there's anything else. And what is this, Mortal Kombat? I like that hair, dude. I might get that hair. I might need, I need that hair. That's what I need right there. Hmm. And this looks like some Marvel stuff. Black Panther figures right here. There's a, a Cooper Trooper back there in the back. Another, well, I'll come back to that because I'm going to go to Super 7's page in a second anyway. Here's Teen Wolf. I said I wasn't going to go to Super 7. Here I am, Teen Wolf. Oh, classic 80s movie, $15. 
to be honest, I'm not paying $15 for these. Usually when I find these Super 7 stuff at the store, it's on clearance, and I might buy it then, but I am not. I'm not saying there's anything wrong if you do, but I just can't bring myself to pay $15 for them. Hmm, Batman animated figures. They look really good. Some really good looking figures there. And there's the Iron Maiden ones. Somebody was asking about that. That looks, yeah, that's the Iron Maiden right there. Eddie. Iron Maiden. It says convention. It doesn't say here what convention, though, but uh, you can, I'm sure you can buy them on the set, uh, Super 7 website. Mm. So let's see what the next wave. Okay, I read that chat. I'm trying to keep it with the chat, too. So mm. here's a Wolverine. I noticed that the background back here, look at that toy old oh, toy biz bit toy biz package i like that back there this is from marveltoynews.com check them out if you get a chance uh and then the uh vintage collection lando right there really good uh some street fighter figures look at that street fighter anybody remember that game street fighter uh is it a gambit looking don't know what this is it's kind of creepy. Yeah, here's some real Ghostbusters. I haven't seen. The, I don't think I've seen this one yet. The real Ghostbusters from the uh, cartoon series coming back out. Calls like I said, retros in. Old stuff is in. Check out this here. Solo, a uh, Lando. Well, it's not Solo, but it's Lando from the Solo film. And here's some more pops. Any of you guys like pops out here? Let's see here. I don't like when they do just do drawings because they don't really impress me much. Uh, Super 7 reaction figures are really cool, but I agree, $15 price point's a bit steep. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not telling you anything new. Go to eBay. I bought the whole set of Pulp Fiction and Back to the Future. Um, I think I paid like 20 bucks for each set. So, let's see here. Okay. Well, who would buy this? <sighs> that, I would not have this in my house. That, I, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen in my life. So, no, I would not have that. See, uh, oh. Children of the 90s will remember that. Ren and Stimpy. They actually back again because retro is hot. Here's Toxic Cartoon. That's why I don't understand why Super 7 is making this also. I don't understand why people keep saying, why does Hasbro bring it back retro? Well, look at this. Look at everything at Toy Fair. Everything is retro. That's the big thing right now. Jumpman, what's the most you ever paid for a single action figure? <sighs> mm. I think it was, really wasn't that much. Um, I think it was about $250. 250 for a loose yak face. My yak face figure, which is probably running a bit more than that now, but... Really, that's probably about the house I've ever paid. And back then, that was before I was, well, I'm divorced now, but that was before I had kids. I was right out of school. Uh, not right out of school, probably about five years out of school in my 20s. I could waste $250 easy. No, I would not have an Exodus figure either, man. That's the scariest movie ever. Um, let's look at this Punisher here. This looks good. Nice little cannon here. I guess this is from the TV show. It looks like the guy from Walking Dead. Nice little pose on him, though. Oh, a classic. I like that one right there from Diamond Select. The classic Punisher. I like that one a lot better. Although I do like this. I've never watched the show, but I do like that pose. But, yeah, I like that one. That's pretty good. Retro is hot. That's why I don't understand. You know, I just watched a guy, uh, Retro Blast. I don't know if you ever guys watch it, but he's like, why would they do this? Why would they make that? Come on. I mean, why not? Strike while the iron's hot. I mean, their they're, Hasbro's job is to make money. I've uh, been waiting for a figure of both and his speeder since I saw this is Joe Johnson art a few years ago. Okay, are they doing it? Oh, I haven't seen this one. Look at this. That's pretty neat. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the Boba Fett. The Boba Fett looks really good. I like that one. I might have checked that. I hadn't seen these little the little kid ones yet. I got really behind when I was... Thanks for a race episode 8 guy on here. He really sent me some pictures when I was uh, in the theater. So when I came out, I didn't have to go hunt for a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We looked at that already. Some Power Rangers. Have you seen the Transformer Ghostbusters car? That's kind of neat coming out. And then we got the He-Man figures right here. Not really a big fan of them. 
That looks cool, though. Who is that? Super 7 movie version. Is that the movie Skeletor? That's pretty cool. That's I give you that. <laughs> you know, I know that movie's horrible and everything. My son loves it, so it makes me kind of like it just because he likes it. But look at that. I like that. That's cool. No, oh, I hate that little creature thing. No, oh, then they, there he is again in his gold outfit. And I like the Skeletor, honestly, though. I was I clicked on it to say I didn't like it. There's some more Marvel stuff here. Spider-Man with the Iron Spider legs and everything. Iron Man. Good looking Hulk. Good looking Wolverine, too. Classic look. Uh, two people, I don't know who these two people are, so... Check the Galaxy of Adventure minis. Is that what that is? Galaxy of Adventures? Okay, I thought it was uh, those, uh, not really play school, whatever they're called. Uh, is this the guy from Ant-Man right here? Looks like a boring figure. I mean, it looks like a local newsman. Mm, Juggernaut looks good. Captain America and Captain Woman. Let's see here. Some um, Thor... Thor Ragnarok, never seen it, so it's hard for me to get excited. Yeah, the Skeletor did look awesome. I was kind of surprised at that. Uh, oh, Michael. Now, see, I, I like I like Michael Myers and everything, and who has got blood coming? That's pretty because he's got the blood coming out. But there's so many Michael Myers figures out there. The company makes like one a month, and they all and he dresses the same. He looks basically the same in every movie. But I did say they were doing some Halloween 3 stuff. So Halloween 3 is finally getting some love. So let's see. And there's, that's a good looking. I like that one. Like I said, I like the classic clown a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Retro Blast called him Desert Luke. But at the beginning, he called him uh, Farm Boy Luke. Kind of teased him about it on Twitter today. Um... Let's see if there's anything. I don't want to spend all day on this. I was going to go to some other websites, but there's so many here. Some Pez. Now, what, let me see these right here. These are pretty cool. Look at that. That right there. Um, got Greedo. Is that Conan O'Brien? You got um, Walrus Man, Ghost Rider, Batman. Is that Doctor Who? I was only with a green hat. Not sure who that is. Some got green giants down here. Is that Thor? Now, there is doing, they're doing a Pez. Now, these are kind of like bigger Pez. Am I right? These are the Funko Pez. They're doing two Snaggletooths, a blue and a red. So that's kind of neat. Heck, yeah, I'm down with Halloween 3, man. It get, it gets a lot of bashing. It I'm not saying it's the best. I think people just dog on it because it's not, it doesn't fit into the to the hall, to the the Halloween movies. But I like it. Uh, or I, did, I haven't seen it in years, but I did like it. Just because it was unique and different. It was, had a catchy song, didn't it? There's a Spider Woman. That's a... Might be a cool looking Batman. Can't hardly see it though. Uh, Injustice figures. Wish that picture was bigger. Uh, okay, let's talk about. We haven't talked about this one yet, right here. The Jabba Palace. Uh, I've heard a lot. I'm not really that impressed with this, but I mean, it looks like. I mean, it's good for if you're if you're setting it up in your house and everything. But it looks like. I don't know, it just doesn't look like anything. It's just like a backdrop. It doesn't look like anything that really excites me. Does it come with a Han Solo and a Riyaz? Are they in the box here? Let's see. More images and full details here. Hmm. Like I said, I can't read that little writing, but I think it comes with a Han Solo and Reese, because I know they're doing the Han Solo and Reese. And there we go, another Jason figure. Uh, I don't know this Jason. It's one of the later ones. I'm glad to know. Let's see what we got down here. Yeah, there's the Reese and the Haunt. I guess it comes with that set. I hope it comes separate too. Mm, got the Honey Carbonite and the Reese. Nothing special, good looking cards. I wish when they did like the Han and Carbonite, if they put on the Power of the Force logo, like he was in the Vintage Collection. I mean, how can you call it a Vintage Collection and then put it on a card it was never on? Oh, uh, yep. He guy just in. Look at this right here. This is a good video right here if you ever get time to watch it. Oh, that Junkman posted that. Hmm. Yes, I have Instagram. That's mine right there also. Okay. Some guy circled this. Why? I had the opportunity to fix a four-year-old mistake, and you blew it. For the record, there is no yellow lights over in the start. Well, they're not going to change. <sighs> they're not going to change it. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm getting technical here. Let's 
Check this out. This is odd. I saw this today. Look at this. I don't even know what to say about this one right here. And who said they're not new Star Wars stuff coming out? Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a big pop. Look at this. Is it big or is it just the... Oh, okay. The angle of the picture. It looks like somebody cosplay or something. I need to try to see if they will give me a pass to... Uh... Is this from big? What is this? Make your wish. Okay, that's a thing from Big, but I'm not really sure. There's the Darth Maul. Did we talk about Darth Maul? There he is right there. Uh, Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Uh, Celebration exclusive. And there's the Obi-Wan. Look at this right here. This is kind of neat. Ghost Rider. That's a neat looking figure. Look at that. That, that is. I like that. That looks good. Uh, Honoria issued from the three. Oh, uh, kind of. Hasbro's good about reissuing stuff, aren't they? Hmm. Then we got the Turkin, we got the Child's Play. I'll tell you what, we're getting into. Check this out real quick. Nah, I don't know. Do you guys like Power Rangers? I don't really. Know. The skin. Now I might have to pick this up right here, especially it's only three thirty-two dollars. I think looks really good. I got the other skiff, but I love that it has stands on it. So I'd like to see this in person. See how it really stands up. And there's the playset. There's the figures. There's the other figures. Does the skiff come with those? See, I should have known all this stuff already. There's the Lando. I, I would probably pick that skiff up just because it would probably look good. And here's a uh, He-Man from the film. I oh, know I clicked on that pretty fast, didn't I? Uh, let's see. Let's check. This is the new Black Series. Oh, the Hyper Rail and the Black Series. See how much better this one looks right here. Uh, they did a bow fit in this series. I would probably definitely get it. Tauntaun. Jury head on the playset. Yeah, I saw the headset, the Tauntaun and the uh, other creature head. I did like that little touch they added. Oh, and here's the Halloween 3 stuff. Uh, can't hardly see, but I think that right there is Halloween 3, the Jack o' Lantern, the pumpkin head guy. I think that's from Halloween. Yeah, this is in the back of Halloween 3. So I was surprised they're giving Halloween 3 some love. And how about this? Some Goonie figures. Uh, I like them. Not, nothing I would probably pick up. Here's some more Star Wars stuff. Let's look at this. Got got the Vaders. Got, I wish this picture was better. See, so you got Haldo coming out. You got a pet. I mean, please, some, people just keep telling me they're not making new stuff. They're not making new movie stuff. Um, here's a Beast Man. That was like pretty good. Hmm. Looks like we're getting into a lot of doubles now that have already... Here's, here's, here's a good one. They Live. You remember that movie? Uh, these aren't been painted yet, but they're doing a They Live figure line. Uh, if I miss a chap, sorry. Halloween 3. They have kids wearing all three. Oh, all three kids. Oh, that's cool. That'd be kind of neat. It'd be good if it comes in a three-pack. Uh, here's some more Star Wars stuff. You got the board game coming out that comes with Tarkin. It's more of the... Uh, vintage carded stuff and the classic really curious of how these retro ones are gonna look out of the package look and feel And here is a uh, Luke Skywalker. I thought it was the one when I first saw it. I really did a Luke Skywalker all wet from being in the trash compactor um, let's See if I missed anything here and we're going to let's go on let's leave Instagram Well, let's look at the Grievous before we go off. There's Grievous good looking Grievous wouldn't mind that what is this one here? A blade, a good-looking blade figure. Daredevil, that Punisher. We already saw oh, a Joker. Mm, not really too. too I don't really care about that. Harley Quinn. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's good looking. That's, was that a Keaton Batman? It looks really good. Okay, let's see here. We got a nice-looking Spider-Man too. Man, that's my son would be crazy for that one. A Black Panther, everyone's favorite, Captain Marvel, uh, Thor Fraggle Rock, and uh, that's a cool looking Iron Man. Who's that, Cable? That's cool looking, that's good. Cyclops, oh, I like that Wolverine, look at that. I like that Wolverine, that's cool. Magneto, there's that Ghost Rider again. Let's go over and talk Super 7, let's see here. World's going to make sure I'm not missing anything on the chat room. Okay, let's see. We got Conan the Barbarian Super 7s. Well, that's Skeletor from He-Man. Right there's 
Conan, not really much. I don't really know much about Conan too much. Here's the, uh, I don't know really a sports guy, which I might. Here's All-Star All -Star Classic, where you get some really classic figures, uh, baseball characters right here. The mascots, I like the little mascots, I like that. Here's Aliens, the sequel, uh, so they're going to do Alien line. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, and the He-Man Super 7 cards right there. Mm -hmm. And there's Toxie holding his own card. Hmm. And here's somebody from the Planet of the Apes just waiting to hear news of the Planet of the Apes, I guess. Let's click on it. Okay, he's just smoking and waiting, smoking and waiting. There we go. I would, I would, I would like to have these, but again, I'm not paying $15 for them. You know, how oh, that's from the uh, second movie? Surprising. Hmm. Oh, a plate. Oh man, that I like that. Look at that. Super Seven, uh, five point seventy-five inches tall. Yeah, beneath the Planet of the Apes. Look at that. I like that. A little, uh, a little Statue of Liberty. Place that with a horse might have been cool too. Hmm. See what else we get here. How about that one right there? And there's some rock band from the uh, from the 80s. They do a lot of. That's Alfred Hitchcock. Not sure who this guy is, but I'll show it to you. I thought it was Natural Libre to start with. Look at this. Here's a Hitchcock figure. You like that one? Hitchcock. Okay, we're going back months now. So let's go on. Let's leave that and look at some. Let's check out Cool Toy Review. Uh, see if there's anything worth clicking on here. Y'all are probably mad at me. Everybody's like, hey, man, you went past the good stuff. Uh, we looked at that already. Don't like this site. I mean, February the 1st. Don't like this site's been really kept up with everything. Uh huh? Well, some, some, got some more video games. Got a Pac Man coming out. That's good. Let's look at that. This look a little smaller than the ones at Walmart. Pac-Man's good. I would love a Miss Pac- I'm a, I'm a huge Miss Pac-Man fan. Pac-Man gets boring. Uh, McFarlane DC figures. 13th. Yeah, this guy, this guy is really bad. I don't know if y'all know cool toy reviews, but they are missing the boat here. They are far behind. Um, now, I like that. I tried to look at these earlier, but um, Rebel Scum will not let you click on these. So I can see them bigger, but I would love to take a bigger look at them, but... We're going to have to close this site if they don't get better at it. My brother was a fan of Planet of the Apes. Yeah, Planet of the Apes is really, really the first was really good. My son, I showed it to him, he's probably about eight years old. He watched the Planet of the Apes every day. I bet two or three times a day sometime. He loves the Planet of the Apes, especially that first one. Uh, here's more of the uh, retro cards. Let's take a look at them, I guess. Okay, Rebel Scum, why don't you let me click on anything? Oh. I have to go. Well, that's dumb. There's the Tarkin with the board game. See, I see that stick. That's no, not a sticker. It's printed on the card. It is way too big. Come on, Hasbro. If you're out there, shrink that down. It doesn't need to be that big. Uh, and also, you can see the figures come come laying in a bubble tray. It looks like. Uh, I mean, you can tell anybody is going to spend the money that. Vintage card would call we'll know this is not vintage even if that sticker's not on there And besides they didn't even make this kind of vintage line. So why even put a Hasbro see do something make me excited and love you love you again, and then you do something stupid like that Looks this is the back of the card. I'm not sure if you all have seen the back of the card Well, I'd be good if I Well, this slice not let me scroll over here well, down that doesn't do you guys any good, does it? Mm, all the retro stuff. Wish I held the whole set right now. Yeah, I will. I can't not wait to see them. It's something you know, been kind of screaming about for a long time for them to do, and they finally did it. Let me go back at the top and see if I can click on this right here and see if we can get a closer look. Yeah, there we go. This is the new, well, this site's not letting me scroll left or right, so, oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Sorry, I had it hidden. 
Okay, let's look at this Vader. See, back in the back, he comes with a bunch of hands. I think he's retail eighty dollars. That looks really good. At least this one here, I'll have him sitting like he's fitting to go to the bathroom. Um, I'd like to see him in person. If it was Boba Fett, I'd be more excited because I'm a Boba Fett fan. But hey, can't complain with Darth Vader, can you? The ball, the back sucks. Oh, I thought I read it as the ball sucks. Yeah, nine yeah, for ten dollars. That's not that bad of a price for him. You think they will make a Cape Jawa? It would be interesting to get a final Cape Jawa. It'd be kind of interesting. Let's see what else we got? Go back here and look at some of these Black Series stuff. Okay, we got this guy. See, I thought they already did these figures. I could be wrong. Got the guy from Solo. I don't. Even if I even if I do like the movies, a lot of the I'll be honest with you, there's that stuff doesn't. I mean, I'll put this one up here for uh, Here we go. Uh, a race episode eight. This one's for you. Heck yeah, you want that one, don't you? There, even if I like the movies, their their new stuff doesn't excite me. Kylo Ren excites me. If it's Kylo Ren figure, it looks good. Uh, for the most part, I mean, I don't care about a chopper. General Grievous, never really care much about General Grievous either. Let's take a look at him though. But it looks, it looks okay. I don't, I'm not a big huge fan of him. Let's, uh, see if there's anybody else worth looking. Here's a mace. Let's check mace out. I'm gonna do a whole video on these black series. I think people love the black series. That's a good looking mace window. I give him look at that. Hadn't they already done mace window one time? Heck yeah. Black Series is too much for me. Yeah, I mean, Black Series, it has to be good. And I got the Bounty Hunters over here, and that's and a couple figures here and there I like. But too many clones. I've looked at that one already. This 3PO. Mm, no, Triple Zero. I don't even know who Triple Zero is. Looks like C3PO to me. Um. Yeah, black. Let's no, see. I like. Let's see what pad me looks like. Got the uh, speeder bike already. Yeah, I already got a speeder bike guy that comes on a bike. Why would I care about that? Oh God, on those itches. And an Anakin figure. There's both Fett. Now, why didn't they give me the picture of both Fett? Is that the same black series of both Fett we've had? Why would you not? Why would somebody take a picture of all these and not take a picture of both Fett? Here's the. Uh, celebration exclusives. Hmm. Never eh. look better without the hood on, I think. Hmm. Then a Han Solo. Let's check out Han Solo really quick here. He's from the Marvel Comics. Okay. Um, I'm excited that they're bringing back a Marvel Comics 108. Bringing back some of the Although I've got an issue because 108. So you know what? The story line takes place where 108 would because it's got Darth Vader. Five bucks when I was young. That's true right there. Okay, let's go back out of here and see what else we can take a look at here. Legos. I can't afford Legos. There's the skip. We looked at that already. We've talked about the Kenner stuff. The wet General Giant. Let's see what General Giant's got here. This was posted today. Hmm, don't really have anything here, so let's close this down. Let's check out, although I think he blocked me on Twitter, uh, Yak Face. Hmm, got the two, man, what is, oh, God. I don't want my nose, y'all gonna think I do a bunch of cocaine or something. There's, we looked at all this stuff, so I don't really see nothing new here. There's a hot, uh, old uh, Luke we haven't talked about, but can't hardly see him. Don't really see what's the chat. Anakin is Anakin is in the archive line. Oh, okay. Mm. They need to do a cheap line. That's what they need. People like me. There's not sure how I like his head. It might grow on me. It might be different too when I see him in person. Uh, 40th anniversary, six inch. No, there's no pictures of this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's look at the YodaNews.com. 
Uh, again, just like everything we've looked at already. I don't really see anything special here. Let's see what this is. Can y'all see this? I right, this. Can y'all see? Can y'all even see that yet? Uh oh. Okay, that's just somebody going around with their camera, but still nice. I like this ray. Who makes this? General Giant. I do like this word, ray right here. Uh, looks a little, a little odd, but I do like the ray. Uh, let's see what the Luke looks like. I don't think I've seen uh, I hate, I hate bust. I don't know why they, oh, I hate things like, uh, I hate, hate bust. Sorry, let me look at more, some more. I like this ray a lot. You know, I, I almost bought a ray, um, uh, hot toys. Yeah, I like the outfit too. I like that ray. That might be one I would pick up. I don't buy much new stuff, but. Nice looking BBH come with a ray though. I couldn't pass on the four dollar Han. Eh, nobody can pass on a four dollar Han. Yeah, I really like this ray. I wonder how much that's gonna be. Let's see if they see anything about price now. Uh, there's the we looked at all that already. Here's another picture of the set. See, so you got the Typhon here and this other creature. Episode 8 guy in the chat to tell you who that is. I know, some kind of moose head. Got the Han and Carbonite back here. That's neat. That's, that's neat if you got a good place to set it all up, but I don't really have a place for it. And let's look at the skiff. I'm very interested in this skiff. It looks a little different than the brew release one they did in 1999, that's for sure. Uh, there's more of the skiff, more of the skiff, more of the skiff, some more of the retro card. Let's look at the retro card figures, although we've talked to death probably about them. Got the, got the trooper looks really good. Uh, Leia, Han, really like to see how the weapons look. Uh, haven't really heard from anybody that actually saw the 400, four, wait a minute, four dollar Carbonite Han, 1985. Dang, that's my, that's my. Was well, that carded or loose? Still, that's a good price. Four dollars for a Carbonite Han. That is a good. That's a good deal. Either way you look at it. Let's see if there's anything else. Have we done looked at all this stuff? We probably didn't. There's a Bosch, one of my favorite figures too, right here. That's a pretty good looking figure. But hadn't they done that? That's what this new stuff. I can't keep up with what they done and what they hadn't done because they like to uh, re-release everything on a different package. And then we got some of. Check this Chewbacca out. Okay, that's a weird looking Chewbacca. There's the, oh, uh, that's the, uh, Boba Fett with the bike again. Ooh, there's a X-Wing. Let's take a look at it, because I don't think I've seen that yet. That's kind of neat. If I had a little small kid, sounds a little too big for that. Uh, there's Ray again in my face. Uh, how many retro figures are in the first wave? What is it, six? Am I right? Guys, help them out, six? In fact, I can go back up here. I think I can tell you. Uh, I believe it's six. It's uh, Han Solo. Well, count, uh, seven probably counting Tarkin. There's uh, Stormtrooper, Leia, Luke, Han, Vader. Who am I missing? <laughs> Vader. Oh, God. Y'all have them out. Vader. Oh, Chewie. Vader, Chewie, Han, Luke, Leia. Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, Vader, Stormtrooper. That's it. And then a Tarkin that comes in the Death Star escape game. Mm, let's look at this. Uh, do y'all see anything interesting here? These might look good. Let's see what these look like. These always, this brand here always looks good. I can never pronounce it, so I'll just go up and let you see it right there. Uh, they do good looking figures. I see them. This is another one I see at the bookstore all the time at Barnes & Noble. Ooh, a Vader without the helmet. Let's click on that one. Look at that. Not a very good picture, but man. The Falcons probably look good. The newer Falcon with the different radar dish. B-Wing, one of my favorite ships. Oh, clicked on that. Time it came up, didn't I? I wonder if there would be a way to distinguish between the retro. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I hadn't heard anything or anybody that touched the weapons yet. I know when Hasbro redid the weapons in 95, they were more of a rubbery feel and the color was a little different. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're about the same or maybe a little different. I know the figures stand just as tall, 3.75, but they are wider than the normal. Um, just click on this here.
Oh god, oh. Sorry. What did I do? I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Let's watch it again. Kylo Ren, Plasma. Look at 3PO back there, that's funny. So not a beef. They look good, but I'm just not, I don't really just get into it though. That's a good looking 3PO right there. That Boba Fett. See, that bear looks better there now that I can see him. That General Grievous, I like. See, that one looks white. That black's going to look like gray or something. Hmm. Death Star there. Blockade Runner. A couple of the ships. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Let's go back up here again because I want to see that Boba Fett. I'm a sucker for Boba Fett. I know it. There he is. Looks just like you expect him to look like Boba Fett. Lego. Ooh. It's kind of got like a retro design to it. Logo on it. Yeah, I can't, man, I'm not too much into Legos. Sorry, I guess there's a clone trooper. I think we're getting, what is this? Millennium Falcon Wood Bread Cone on Amazon. Man, come on now. Okay, well, guys. I think that's gonna do it. It's a, it's almost midnight here, and kind of just. Well, I think we looked at everything anyway. Most of the stuff here. Uh, let me catch up on the chat real quick before I go. The Japanese influence figures just aren't my thing. Yeah, same here. I mean, I know they look good and everything, but I just I would them look like the TV show, TV show or the movie. I would love to see the Mandalorian. Well, I guess they're not gonna show that. Maybe we'll see some Mandalorian action figures. Uh, by the time celebration comes around. Nice, they're trying to get one for display. Doesn't have to be mint, but want loose repro stuff and electronics to work. Oh, Falcon, who can miss that one? The Toy Galaxy guy has somewhere in the neighborhood 500 Kenner Boba Fett figures. Good Lord. Hmm, he's sitting there. He's got some good money then, because everything's, he's got the gun for it and everything. Trying to keep four grandchildren. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to turn out. Thank you for joining me here. Um, it's been a lot of fun looking back. I'm really excited about this retro line. Surprised at all the hate I hear from it or the, oh, Hasbro don't know what to do. They're just reaching back in the old bag now. Uh, okay, go play with your junk, but I don't understand. Seems like. All people do is bitch for Hasbro to do something or Star Wars to do something. Then when they do, then they bitch about what they do. Again for watching.